Hello everyone, I hope everybody's having a good day. I'm going to be doing a tutorial to showcase how to install NVE 5M package. And uh, since the new NVE package has reshade, I'm also going to show you how to install reshade correctly. So uh, we're going to start off with the links. Uh, there's only two, so it's not that, it's not that bad. So you're going to start off with the raise mods. Uh, you can just go to the Patreon and then uh, you need to get the... Uh, the gold and up and then once you have that you can come over to the reshade uh reshade.me and you can come and hit the download button and you can download the, the most recent one and then uh, once you do all that um i do have to warn you the 5m package takes at least like a couple minutes to uh download because it is like seven gigabytes but um if you have fast internet you should be good so but uh, let's start off with this. So we're going to start off with um, NVE. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to. We're going to open File Explorer. So there's uh, different ways to get to your 5M application data. Um, the simplest way is literally just press Windows R. And then come down here and search in app data. And then this is going to come up. Then you're going to come over here to local. And then you can uh, go down to 5M. And then you have the 5M application data. And then uh, make sure you guys have a mods and a plugins folder for this. Um, so you can put the mods in. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open NVE. The 5M package. And we're going to have all these stuff so what you're going to do is you're going to come to the main package and you're going to so these are all labeled for you so it shows it shows you exactly what which ones to go into so we're going to go to the mods folder in the nve 5m package and we're going to throw all of these into your mods folder so now you have all the rpfs in the mods folder we're going to go back into the app data, go to the plugins folder, and we're going to put the nve.asi in there. We're going to go back, <clears throat> and then we're going to go to the optional add-ons. So if you want like enhanced motion blur, um, you can do it for both. So this goes into your mods folder, into your 5M, and then uh, might as well we can do the we can do the uh, first person. <clears throat> Uh, red emergency lights. Um, I would recommend probably the high intensity. I wouldn't go for ultra. Um, mostly all the add-ons go into the 5M uh, mouse holder. Uh, once you do that, we do the NVE uh, animation gas stations and the ATMs. You throw that right into your mouse holder. Um, go back into your NVE 5M, 5M package. Um, we can do parallax roads if you want to. I might lower FPS a little bit, but it adds parallax to the uh, roads in different places. Um, if you do not have a beefy computer, I would not recommend these two. But if you do, feel free. Uh, this goes into your plugins folder for the high quality reflections. Um, you just take the ASI and you throw it right into the plugins folder. Uh, for extra, uh, extra vegetation, if you want that, like I said, if you have a beefy computer, um, feel free. That's all you. It goes straight into your 5M application data mods folder. Um, and then you can just go throughout this whole thing and, if, and you can read it and uh, whatever you want, you can add. Um, I'm going to add the ones I like personally um, for the option add ones. Um, we can remove this. Um, uh, I wouldn't recommend the Darker Knights, in my opinion. I don't know. They don't look too well. Um, but if you want it, feel free. Um, if you want the weapon, the weather overhaul, um, so this is the DP, DP fog. So we have the foggy deep, and then we have the hurricane weather, um, which looks pretty cool in some areas, but, uh, Myself, I actually do not use that in my game. Uh, I just stick with the uh, the regular stuff. So uh, you don't have to worry about these. This is if you have a 5M server. 
Um, same with this. Um, you can install this if you want. Um, so the Halloween content pack um, adds literally like Halloween stuff around. I think it's like a lot on Legion Square. And same thing for the Christmas. It just adds Christmas stuff around the Legion Square. Uh, we can reduce the snowflakes intensity if you want. So it literally just makes the snowflakes um, a little unseeable. So it makes it a little bit um, realistic, pretty much. Um, after you have all this installed to the mods folder, uh, and also make sure you have the NV.si and the NV reflections if you want the NV reflections into your plugins folder. We're going to come to the reshade. And then um, if you have multiple GTA 5 downloaded on your computer, uh, make sure you go to the correct one. So uh, if you have it through Steam, um, you, would, you would go to a local disk and then program files 86, and then you would go to the Steam and then Steam apps, and then comma, and then GTA 5. If you have it through Rockstar Games, you go to Program Files, and then you go to Rockstar Games, and then GTA 5. This is what I'm using. So uh, we're actually not going to install this yet. We're going to come back to this. What we're actually going to do is we're going to install the newest reshade setup, which um, I'm going to put everything down in the description, guys, so don't worry. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to run the reshade setup of the newest version, and then we're going to come to the right um if you don't see yours on here make sure it's the right directory um honestly in my opinion i would rather just browse it myself and then find it so uh we're gonna go to the rockstar game one so rock program files rockstar games and then gta 5 and you're gonna click the dot exe and then hit next and then it's gonna ask you for this uh for Hit yes <laughs> for uh, safety. So uh, we're going to pick the rendering API. So we're going to want to choose the DirectX 11, uh, I mean 10 and 11, so that we're going to do DirectX. We're going to click here. Um, if you have a preset that you like and you want to choose it, uh, feel free. Um, honestly, I would just rather choose it in the game. So we're going to hit next. Uh, make sure to check all of these. Um, you don't know how to do this individually. What you can do is you can come to the top right of the setup, hit uncheck, and then check all, and it will automatically check all for you. Once you do that, hit next, and you can wait here for a few seconds, and your setup should be done um, pretty quick, actually. All right. We're going to hit finish. So now if we come back to the folder, we will see that we have now have a reshade shaders and a reshade INI ion log. So now we have that. Uh, while we're in the GTA 5 directory, for whatever directory you use, uh, let's make a, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit new and you're gonna add a new folder and you're gonna name it preset, all lowercase. So this is where you wanna add, if you want a custom reshade presets, you can add them. Um, so you can just come in here and throw all your I and I's for your reshade presets. And then for the reshade shaders, um, this is just for reshade, so you don't worry about that. Um, and uh, also an extra uh, optional thing, if you want it, you can add Ella Vegetation for 5M. Uh, you don't need to. I'm not going to for this video, but I can put it down in the description for you guys, if you guys want it. So now what you're going to do um, is we're going to go into 5M. So with a new update for 5M, there's going to be a crash. So that's normal. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to hit 5M. And then we're going to start 5M. And then if you do have a crash, not everybody has a crash, but we'll see if mine crashes. So just give it a minute while it compiles reshades. So what you can do after that, you can press the home key or the insert. Uh, it's usually home. Also, you should also have a NVE thing. So once you do that, you can skip the tutorial. And then you can, um, if you want the NVE stuff, um, you can install that uh, by closing the game 
and then adding the reshade stuff right here. And then this is also the nve.ini is a reshade preset. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to here and we're going to add the preset for nve into the nve.ini. Um, it, it might ask you for permission. I don't know why it's doing that lately, but so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to replace these files. And then if you continue, if it's asking you for um, all that. So we don't need the reshade shaders anymore for NV. So you can now close the NVE 5M package. And then you can minimize this. And then you should be able to launch 5M. And then it should work perfectly fine. Now, if you do get a error and your 5M reshade does not pop up, like mine is, oh, no, mine is popping up, my bad. But if it does not pop up, um, what you're going to want to do is if you um, press the F8 muscle and it has an error, um, I, I will show you what it would look like identically. So, um, it will say a, it will say reshade ID and it will, it will say a number after it. Um, if you do it correctly, uh, copy that number down behind the reshade ID and then put it and then put that one that you have in your F8, uh, F8, uh, muscle, uh, thing you can then for the command, the F8 command prompt thing, you can put it into this directory. I will put it down in the description, um, as well, and you can put it in here. So you just put the numbers at the end and then you copy all of this and you put it into your citizens.fx in your, your directory. I can show you guys right now. So, uh, if that does happen, close your, uh, close that. And then if you accidentally close the, you can hit app data again and then local, and then you can go to 5M. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to 5M app data. And then you're going to go to the citizen effects the I and I, and you're going to replace that one that you put in there with this one. So you're just going to replace it with this whole thing. And then you can save that. And then the next time you launch your 5M, it should work perfectly fine. All right. Now we are back into the game. So uh, once you're in the game, you can press, once you have fixed your reshade and everything works with reshade you, and you can pull it up on your menu, you will press your reshade button. And then you can, you can pull it over here and then you can go into your preset folder that you made and you can go into the nve.ini and select it and it will add a few presets here. So, uh, if we have this on, we can add some if you want to customize it yourself, or if you really want a custom one, you can come and, uh, me and a friend of mine, um, his name is mad. Uh, we made a reshade preset for NVE and Quan V. So if you want the reshade preset, um, I will post it down in the description. Um, so yeah, you can, uh, this is how you install um, NVE 5M package. Uh, if you have any other questions um, regarding this, um, feel free to DM me on Discord.